Aristotle once said that to be content living alone, you must be either a wild beast or a god. Okay, uh, maybe a bit extreme. Uh, chill out a bit, Aristotle. But I would say there's some truth to that. I mean, the wild beast, they're so ignorant of society. They're just out there doing their own thing and they're probably stinky and no one, no one wants to hang out with the wild beast anyway. But a god, on the other hand, a god knows everything about society, knows everything about him or herself, and from that point of wisdom chooses to live alone, chooses to embrace loneliness, or not loneliness, but solitude and the condition of being alone, which is very different from loneliness. Very important distinction, solitude versus loneliness. And that's what I want to talk about today. Side note, I always wanted to start a video by saying Aristotle once said, so check that one off the old bucket list. You know, this is the time when, at least here in Canada, winter is coming and a lot of people are spending more time on their own. Whether or not your country is in a strict lockdown or a less strict lockdown, I feel like the whole world is simultaneously experiencing this emotional roller coaster that is 2020 and that's going to go into 2021 as well it's 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 a roller coaster that we're on and there are people living on their own who watch this channel and watch youtube and maybe it's a tough time for people like that or even people like me who who live with someone else but have been cut off from their social circles cut off from their family or friends and find themselves with a lot more time on their own. So I thought it'd be interesting to make a video about being alone. Because in my humble view, being alone is a great thing. I'll give you an example. Back in high school, I was in a pretty rough place in my life. I fell in with the wrong crowd. We drank too much. We indulged in some illegal substances. I wouldn't say any of us were bad people, because these were my friends, these were people I know, but looking back, we were very lost, as a lot of teenagers are. I had the feeling that I had to get away, because I wanted to go to university, I wanted to learn things, I wanted to grow. But when you're in that situation where everyone around you is acting a certain way, that becomes your reality. That becomes the only thing you know. But to be able to break away and be alone in that situation is a superpower. I moved away from Winnipeg where I was living, where my family was, where my friends were, and I moved to the west coast of Canada to go to school where I went to university and I met new friends and I learned new things. But most importantly, I spent a lot of time on my own. Being on your own offers a fresh page, a blank slate, a chance to redefine your life at a moment. Friends, family, acquaintances, they, they all know you as a certain person. And when you're surrounded by these other people, the social pressure keeps you in a bubble. It keeps you as that little stupid punk who I was when I was 17 years old who, who doesn't give a shit about anything. But when you move away from all that bubble and you move into the unknown, you, you, you meet yourself. Some, so what's that quote? Like, travel far enough and you'll meet yourself? I don't know if that's actually a quote, but I, it sounds like something that's a quote. Aristotle. It must be Aristotle again. No, but seriously, if, if you travel far enough, you will meet yourself. You will come face to face with who you really want to be. Because if you don't go anywhere, physically, mentally, spiritually, you don't evolve. You don't change. When I moved to South Korea... To be a teacher, I moved to Korea on my own. This was after university, I had just graduated, and I decided to move on my own to South Korea to be an English teacher. I didn't know the language, I didn't have any friends, I didn't know anyone out there, and I spent a lot of time on my own. And Korea is where I learned that I love traveling. It's where I learned that I love to experience life in different cultures. 
it's where I realized that I don't know how I can make this a living. Like, I don't want to be an English teacher for life, but I want to find a way to make this experience of living in another country my job. Without that, I wouldn't be running this YouTube channel today. I would never have traveled to the 40 countries I've been to. I would never have lived in places like Mexico and Costa Rica and France and Vietnam. I've lived in six different countries through my life. When I say lived, I mean had an apartment, had a gym, had a bank in most cases, like, you know. I feel very blessed to have had that experience, but it came from being comfortable living on my own and being on my own. A lot of people ask me if it gets lonely and I tell them, no. Being stuck in the same social circle with the same friends who only see you the same way and living the same life every day of your life, that gets lonely. Being on your own is a beautiful thing. It's a chance to start something new. You can do anything. It's freedom in the truest sense. If you see it as a chance to be a god instead of a wild beast. There's a lot of wild beasts living alone too. There's a lot of people who see loneliness or see living alone as, a, as loneliness and you just gotta drink a lot of beer and make it through the day and watch your television. And uh, That's the wild beast mode of being alone. But the God, look at me trying to like tell you what Aristotle means, but the God version of being alone is endless possibilities. Figuring out your dream life, where you want to be in a year, or two years, or five years, or ten years, that's the opportunity of being alone. I guess the reason I wanted to make this video is because I, I recognize that a lot of people are alone right now. And maybe there's a lot of people being alone who are extroverts or who haven't experienced an extended period of time on their own. But I was alone when I moved away for university. I was alone when I moved to Korea. I was alone when I moved to France. I've, I've ridden this bike before. I've done a few laps on this bike. And I can tell you that it's scary at first, but once you know how to ride the bike, it's a beautiful thing. And you're gonna grow as a person. And you're gonna look back one day maybe five years into the future, and realize that this was one of the best winters of your life. You learned a lot, and you grew as a person. And you took one step closer to being a god, instead of being a wild beast. So. So enjoy it. <laughs>